Hi, welcome to this month's reading log. So basically I'm just gonna be going over what I read in the month and it's a lot this month. I had a week off of work in the beginning of January so I read a lot in that period so some of this is kind of from a while ago but I'll try to remember. But yeah, I think there's like 20-ish volumes total counting like omnibuses that have two volumes so yeah let's just get right into it so first i'm gonna start with spy family i did a whole like first impressions video so i'll link it up in the card but basically i really enjoyed this it's about a spy who needs a fake family for a mission and he hires this daughter who can read minds and this wife who is secretly an assassin so yeah very funny, very cute, very wholesome, something kind of different in the shonen genre, and I highly recommend this. I really enjoyed it, and I can't wait for the next volume to come out. And the next thing I read this month was Wotokoi volumes 1 through 3 in the omnibus, so technically this is 6 volumes. And I'm planning to do kind of a video of this once I finish the 4th omnibus, but I really enjoyed this as well. It's a little different from the anime. I know this was originally published as like a web comic type thing, so it is at least starts in like this four comma type format like each page is like its own little chapter i think the author never like imagined that they would be getting something in print like this so the chapters are really sporadic and i think the anime did a really good job of compiling it into like a linear timeline because the first episode of the anime doesn't happen until like volume three in kind of like a flashback situation I think that in like volume 3 it starts getting more linear but still these are more like one shot chapters. It kind of like switches between the perspectives of the three couples that are on the cover. Like they'll be going on a date but then there'll be like chapters in the middle about their relationship or just like flashbacks and stuff so if you're not paying attention it can get kind of confusing but overall the story is really cute, really nice and I'm happy to see what happens after the anime leaves off. I know there's going to be an OVA of their relationship in February which I'm really excited to see because it's so funny how he finds out something about her but yeah. Like I said I think I'm going to do a full like video about this so I don't want to give away too much of my thoughts but yeah I really enjoyed this. I recommend this. There are little expensive volumes but it took me a while to get through one of these especially since everything is like kind of packed in like a small page. There's a lot to read in each page so I think it's pretty worth it. Okay, next, this one I kind of bought on a whim. I'm kind of spoiling what's in my haul this month, but A Man and His Cat, Volume 1. This one, I just saw someone randomly like post a screenshot of this and it looked super cute and wholesome, so I just picked it up and I do not regret it. Um, let me see, there's like this nice color page right here. But, like, look at that, it's so cute. And yeah, I thought this was just going to be like a little, like kind of like Wotokoi, like four comma type individual stories. Which this does have, but it does have like a more linear story underlying. Like, I didn't know how they were going to make this story good about a man adopting a cat, but there's more potential in this story. Like, even in the first volume, you get a glimpse into like this man's mentality. Like, he's a widow and his kids don't live with him, so he's like all alone and he gets, gets this cat to keep him company. And it's like super sweet because for the first time in a long time, he's found like purpose into coming home from work and like he's happy and the same the other way around because this cat was like ugly and no one wanted to adopt it. So now that he has a father, he doesn't feel lonely all the time and it's just, just so cute. Like, I don't know why I like this so much, but I have volume two, so I'm gonna read that this month whenever I feel like, I don't know, I just need something wholesome to pick me up. There's more to this story than it seems. I thought it was just going to be some like cute cat stories or something, but there is potential to go like deeper into like, especially this man's backstory. So yeah. Okay, next we got volume one of The Daily Life of High School Boys. And this, I've seen the anime of a long time ago, probably like five years ago at this point, but... This pretty much follows the <laughs> follows the anime exactly from what I remember. But basically these are like again little short stories about the antics of this group of high school boys just doing dumb stuff. It's super funny. Is it the best thing I've ever read? No, but I got a good laugh out of this. It was a quick read. Um these volumes are a little expensive. They're like $13, but if you have the chance to pick this up, I would. I have volumes one through three and I don't know, I'm just gonna pick this up whenever I feel like I need a good laugh, but yeah. Next we got Arco Under the Bridge, the Omnibus 1, so this is volumes 1 and 2. And I recently finished the first season of the anime of this, and I was about to go to the second season, but then I was like, wait, maybe I should read the manga since I have the first four omnibuses. And this is nothing like the anime. It is really quite different, but in the author's notes, the author did say that they like the adaptation. But yeah, I was really surprised when I opened it and it was not what I was expecting. Like, the underlying story is the same. Yes, um, it's about this guy who falls into a river and this girl that saves him and he'll do anything to pay her back because he doesn't want to have any debts in life and she 
wants to experience love so they start dating and he starts living under this bridge with her and a lot of other homeless characters who all have very distinct personalities and it's a comedy but I feel like the anime makes it more comedic. Like this is also episodic. I've read a lot of episodic things this month but it's quite episodic so it's easy to like pick chapters that they would want to adapt and the chapters that they picked are very like the comedy focused ones. Like there's a lot of like cute romantic moments a little bit and that's not in the anime like they don't show any of this and I was like I was caught off guard I was pleasantly surprised by this and I don't know if it's how spaced out these volumes came out but like the first volume is like this art style and then I don't know if you can tell the difference but it changed really drastically to more like condensed pages and that kind of like jarred me because it felt like it was a different kind of story like the content is still the same but it's like they just changed the format of the panels like this was more spaced out and like less text on the page and then it suddenly like condensed if you can see that but that I don't know why I noticed that but yeah I'm excited to read more of this I heard the ending is not the best but you know that doesn't really bother me to be honest in manga like as long as the journey is good I think it's worth it unless the ending is like terrible and like everyone dies on whatever like school days or something but if the journey is really good and then the ending is just like meh I think it's still okay and then I read the first Omnibus of Yamashi Petal. I reread because I'm planning to do a big video about it. Y'all been waiting, or maybe like one person is waiting because only one person has asked me, Ooh, when's the Yamashi Petal video coming? But yeah, I rewatched a bit of the anime, but then I stopped because it got to the training camp arc, and that's pain. So I was like, no, I don't want to see that animated. So then I went to the manga, and I'm just slowly going to reread this. We all know I love Yamashi Petal. It's about cycling, it's about this otaku guy who joins the cycling club. Yeah, pretty much. It's about friendship, trying something new bicycles cool character designs funny i don't know what one more i can say that <laughs> i haven't already said but um i recently watched a video i think it was someone unhauling manga and they unhauled yalpeta because they said that the anime is much better in their opinion and i think that is like a common thought in like the anime and manga community that sports manga is not as good as the anime because you can't see it in motion why you can't see bicycles moving on paper but i don't know i that has never bothered me before especially if the art is good yamish petal's art is not the best but like it still gets the point across to me and i really still enjoy it and maybe because i read the manga first i am not as privy to the anime it's still great but like i would always go with the manga so yeah i'm still waiting for them to catch up where i've read i think it's around volume 40 and they're at 32 right now so i have a ways to go but i'm patiently waiting so in that time frame i'll just reread everything Okay, next. I guess we'll go with this one. Um, I know that this was one that a lot of people were excited to see me get and were like waiting for my opinions, but unfortunately I did not like this at all. So this, I married my best friend to shut my parents up. This was just like a tiny one shot about this girl and her parents pressuring her to get married. And instead of like a fake dating type thing that I thought it would be, they just go straight into getting married. Like the first chapter you see them, they're already like married. Like see, she's like welcome home, whatever. And there's no build up, there's no backstory. Like you don't really get to know who she is until like the second chapter. And they mention that she's like her junior when they were in high school or something like that. It's just really random, really weird. And then the last two chapters are also like separate. A separate one shot which i know is common in these like type of one shot volumes but like it's just not enough substance to be able to do that in this one in my opinion and i don't know it just was not i think i rated it a 5 out of 10 on mal i actually bought this on accident so i'm not like disappointed that i didn't like it but i feel sad because a lot of people were like excited that i had this but yeah i don't know i did not like it i tend to not like a lot of like yuri girls love stuff i'm really picky when it comes to that so maybe that's why i'm being too harsh on this but it was just bad like <laughs> in my opinion if you like it that's great that's fine um i don't know why i feel weird about sharing my opinions today but i did not like it it was just weird she seemed like super pushy and i don't like i don't really like that and then like all of a sudden they're starting to fall in love because of i don't know i think this girl's co-worker says something to her about like oh it's so nice that you have someone waiting at home for you and then she's like oh wait i do i've been lonely all this time blah 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 and then suddenly she's like likes her back it's just weird I feel like it could have been okay if it was longer or we got more backstory on the characters. So yeah, that's my thoughts on this. This is the only thing so far that I'm probably going to be letting go of my collection. Sorry, the lighting changed. The heater came on and it got suddenly dark outside. But anyway, so this is Go For Nakamunakun. This is a one shot. I wouldn't even call this romance. I'd call this more slice of life. But it's basically about this guy, Nakamura, who has a crush on his classmate, who he pretty much only likes because of his looks. They are not really friends. He doesn't really know him. He hasn't ever talked to him really. And it's just basically his progression of trying to talk to him and being super awkward. We all know that feeling, trying to talk to your crush and you fail every time. But this one, 
it's kind of interesting like the art kind of looks like something from I don't know how to classify it maybe like the 80s like it's so kind of like an older style which it was interesting to read but yeah I think this was pretty cute nothing special again it's pretty wholesome it's pretty funny um it comes off a little stalkerish in the beginning when he's just like watching him from afar and kind of like he's trying to gather any like insight he can by just like listening into his conversations and stuff like what he likes what he does after school whatever it's kind of but you know they're like in high school it's not like he's showing up to his house and doing anything weird but so yeah would i recommend this i don't know i mean it was cute enough it was okay will i read it again maybe so i'm gonna keep it but yeah i've definitely read better one shots but it wasn't terrible and then lastly b stars i actually read all these <laughs> five volumes last night when I was avoiding doing my lab reports but I was waiting on my volume one to come in for a long time that's why I never started reading it but I finally got it so I have a lot to say about this and once I read my nine volumes that I have I'm gonna do a video again but to sum it up if you are skeptical about Beastars just read it just give the first volume a chance like I know I was skeptical of the anime because I was like what the heck my friend told me it was like sexy Zootopia or something like not something that I thought I would like but you know what i gave it a shot and i really enjoyed the anime so i decided to give the manga a shot as well and so far it's still in the anime storyline and it follows it pretty closely i thought it'd be different but it is pretty much the same as the anime so far i think at the end of volume 5 they get to this part that's kind of like in the last episode of the anime so i think volume 6 will catch up and then the new season of the anime is airing right now so i'm surprised because usually like a 12 episode anime only gets through about four volumes so if the new season of the anime gets through the same amount it's gonna surpass what we have in english so i think i'm gonna wait to watch that until we have more volumes out i think but yeah the only thing i'm gonna say right now about this is that i do not like the art sorry not the art but like the character design it's a little um i don't know it's just I think it looks great on the covers and like I know that the artist is capable of doing something like this but like I know it's not sustainable for every page so sometimes they just look kind of derpy and you can't really tell like who the character is supposed to be sometimes when they're like kind of in the background like if you look at some of the panels like that does not look like her even though you know it's her so it's just a little off it's like a little um weird but like the backgrounds are really nice I like the kind of more sketchy style in the landscapes but the character design is not my favorite and that doesn't really bother me to be honest if the art is bad for something but the story is really good, I can get past it. I'm not one of those people that is like, has to have good art to read something. I know some people are, so. Which is fine, everyone has different tastes. But yeah, I can still enjoy it if the art is kind of whack in my opinion. But yeah, I enjoyed this. I'm going to keep reading this whenever I want to procrastinate some more, which will probably be tonight. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe got some recommendations or my thoughts about some things. This was kind of a hefty month. I usually stick to reading like the same couple series for the whole month but this time i sampled a lot sometimes i don't like to do that because the stories will get confused in my mind but if it's stuff like daily life of high school boys which is not really a linear story more episodic same with like a man and his cat that won't bother me as much but yeah i hope you like this video thank you for watching and leave in the comments what you've been reading this month what you're planning to read if you read any of this and like disagree with me or have the same thoughts then let me know and bye